All right, so this is a review of the new APX radios that's getting placed in service today. Uh, these radios are located uh, currently on all of the fire apparatus in the uh, A and B seats, with the exception of engine 74. It's just in the A seat on that engine. Uh, so some differences uh, that we're going to see, obviously, is it's an upgraded microphone uh, and a little bit different display on this as well. Um, the programming is the same as what we're currently used to. Uh, it's just some different features here with uh, the different buttons on here. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is it has an integrated belt clip. Uh, the radio actually locks into this uh, when you slide it in. So it's only kind of a one-way in type thing if you choose to use that. Otherwise, if it's in the strap, you can uh, just keep it out of there. So turning it on, obviously the knobs are increased in size uh, for use with a firefighting glove. Still has its audible announcements. Uh, everything is pretty much the same as far as what all of your channels are in this. Um, for your zones, uh, hitting the zone button, and then of course we just can toggle through uh, using the down button to whatever zone you'd like to go to. Uh, one difference with this uh, keypad that we're not used to with the old style is no matter where you are in the radio, a press and a hold of the home button will always take you back to zone one, channel one. Uh, so that'll always bring you back to dispatch if need be. Uh, on the top of the radio, uh, you have a display as well, uh, which will allow you to see it uh, more clearly if you are in a strap with it. Um, some different features on the top, obviously the emergency button is quite a bit larger. Uh, however, the emergency feature on this radio has been programmed for a one second push and hold uh, for it to actually activate the emergency. So an incidental press uh, will not activate your emergency. Uh, also on the top, uh, the slide dial here uh, just above the screen, that is your keypad lock uh, and it gives you a, a display as well that the keypad is locked. Um, and that, of course, disables everything down here. Uh, so that's back to unlock. Your A uh, and B is your scan on and off. So if you go to B, uh, that tur turns your scan on. A shuts it back off. C is actually where you can go through. Uh, and if there's a certain channel that you need to scan, you can actually uh, go through and adjust that as need be. On the side of the radio, uh, the very top button uh, is going to be your private call acknowledgement. So if you receive a private call, uh, that of course is going to answer it. Uh, obviously your push to talk button. Uh, the, the next button down here, uh, the, the top of the circle there if you will, uh, is your screen dim. The other thing that button does is if your top display, if you happen to have it in a pocket or something like that, if you press and hold that button, it rotates your screen. So now uh, you can see it's rotated to the other side. And the idea is just to be able to see it more easily uh, if you carry it in a New York strap or a radio strap or something like that. The other feature uh, that's that's new for us uh, is the bottom button here uh, on the half circle there. Uh, that button is a recall button. Uh, so basically you can put the radio to whatever channel you like. Uh, so for example, if, if maybe Medic 8 Alpha is one that you want to be able to get to quickly, uh, you go to the channel that you want to go to, you press and hold the button and you'll hear an acknowledgement beep. And that means that it's now programmed as your recall button. So now anywhere you go in the radio, uh, so we're on Ops 84 currently, if I press my recall button, just a simple press and depress, it takes me right to that uh, preset channel. And of course you can adjust that uh, to whatever channel you, you want it to be um, and, and you, it'll jump right over to it. That's uh, kind of the big things as far as the actual base radio. The uh, color mic, uh, a little bit different as well. Um, obviously a, a lot more sizable. Remember this is a directional mic. Uh, so it may take some, some training on the best place to have this next to your face piece for it to be able to transmit uh, as clear as possible. Um, it is noise canceling, so you'll see a significant difference if you're operating next to a, a running fan or the pump panel or something like that. Your voice will come through a lot more clearly on this than what we're typically used to. Uh, has the emergency button on the top there. Uh, you can adjust your uh, belt clip wherever you need to have it. Your toggle here on the side, this is your volume control for the, for the speaker mic. So obviously up is uh, increases. Uh, the clear piece here is actually an LED light that will illuminate if your emergency button is activated. Uh, this uh, small black button does nothing currently on the front. Obviously your push to talk. And the bottom button here is your uh, 
zone and channel announcement. So again, if you have this uh, under your code or, or tucked away somewhere and you can't access the radio quickly to ensure that you're on the right channel, you press this. Alpha. And I'm not sure if that came through. I'll hit it again. Zone 1. Medigate Alpha. So it's just a quick and easy way to make sure that your radio is uh, actually on the channel that you want it to be on. Uh, the last thing with this is the batteries are a little bit uh, different as far as how they go in and out. Uh, on the side, there's the two um, tabs there. Uh, so you press in. you got to press in pr pretty firmly uh, to get these to actually come out of the radio, um, especially as they're new here. Uh, so that's as you switch out your, your batteries when they start uh, 